why it'll be nice and we do not have to be bundled up. How about it? I am ready for the Caribbean. This is getting old. But soon. Soon. What, five weeks? It'll be nice to be in sunny weather where it's actually warm <laughs> and not where you have to be oh, this 18 is, layers. I have three layers on. Ugh, it's ridiculous. So, can't wait. Well, hi everyone. It is just a few weeks before we go on our Caribbean vacation. Uh, can't wait. You can see we are bundled up. We're in the uh, Seattle Center here, taking a tour, walking around. There's not a lot of tourists right now, but we're excited to be tourists. Mm -hmm. um, we had a lot of people ask us, "Why do you always go to the Caribbean every year instead of Hawaii?" Yeah, because it's so. It is not convenient to get to from Seattle. There's multiple plane rides. Yeah, it's basically the whole day because of the time changes and everything. It's it's a long trip. Yeah. So in this episode, we kind of wanted to share with you a little bit how our journey started. It started actually uh, 19. Let's see. 18 years ago this week, we actually got married and are yep. celebrating our 18th wedding anniversary and we went to Antigua and we went sailing in Antigua and uh, fell in love with the Caribbean and being on the water. Yep. So we just wanted to share with you kind of our memories and how we got here and why we want to retire in the Caribbean mm -hmm. and why we always go back. So we hope you enjoy. I'm Scott and this is Allie and we live in Seattle. Over the last several years, we've owned and operated two boats in the Pacific Northwest. And now we're on our search for our liveaboard cruiser. So hit the subscribe button now to come along with us on our boating journey and see where it leads. Our boating journey began 18 years ago in 2003 when we celebrated our honeymoon in Antigua. Scott and I had both traveled to other tropical destinations like Mexico and Hawaii, but when we arrived in Antigua, we immediately fell in love with the color of the water, the smell of the gardens, and the friendliness of the people. During that trip, we went sailing on a catamaran, and we were hooked. Over the past 17 years, we visited Jamaica four times, the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, St. Martin, Dominica, Guadeloupe, Isla de Saints, and of course Antigua. What is it about the Caribbean that we love so much? For starters, the Caribbean Sea and the white sand beaches. The smell of the Caribbean and the color of the water makes you want to stay there forever. Every trip, we make sure to spend a few days on the water, either snorkeling, sailing, being on a Hobie cat, jet skiing, or just walking on the beach. Each island offers their own cool destinations, so be sure to ask the locals where you should go. One great tip for sightseeing is hire a local taxi driver to drive you around the island and see different sites. They know the island best and it's worth the money. Then we love the vibe. Something about stepping onto the tarmac with steel drums playing takes all of your worries away. Not only are the locals super friendly, but we always make friends with other tourists too. There is something about being on vacation that makes folks more friendly and talkative. We've made lasting friendships over the years that we will always cherish. Scott and I love ending our days watching the sun go down over the horizon. While we have great sunsets here in the Pacific Northwest, seeing the sun go down on the water is so peaceful and magical. This is one of the reasons we want to live in the Caribbean. How we'll get there, we don't know yet. Our dream is to retire on one of the islands and be surrounded by sun and happiness. We'll figure it out one way or another. So thanks for going down memory lane with us. We hope you liked the video. And be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode. We are headed to San Juan Island. We're staying at Fra Snug Harbor Resort mm -hmm. and we're going whale watching. Yep, fingers and we'll... crossed we see one of the pods yeah, here in the northwest. Yeah, so we're excited. So... so we'll be back on the water and then in five weeks we'll be in the Caribbean. 
So, so stay wait. tuned and we'll take you on that trip. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Leave your comments down below. Be sure to subscribe. We really appreciate yep. it. And ring the little bell for notifications. We do try to post every Sunday. So tune in. And follow us on all the social media. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.